YouTube. I was going to show you a day of what it's like to be a mom on a half day off. I have no morning off. Um, I have a lot of laundry here. This is all clean that I'm going to be folding and putting away and hanging up and putting away. And then I also am going to be doing flashcards. Right now, I have a, the PBS Kids um, Daniel's Tigers Neighborhood from when my daughter and I play a couple games at night. No, I want Big Dog. I want Big Dog. She wants to play like, the Clifford on PBS Kids. Um, and that's her way of telling me she wants to play a couple computer games. And it always pops up to Daniel's Tiger. So then we end up playing Daniel's Tiger. It's great. It's really good for her age. Um, yeah, it helps learn. Yesterday we were doing Barnyard Match. So we were learning um, animals, which she pretty much knows. But it's really good for a refresher and like learning that we were matching things was really good for her. I'm almost done with all those flashcards. These are the piles. Um, I'm just gonna put them away slowly. All right, I know you guys have no idea, but this room is like almost perfect compared to what it usually is like sometimes. It feels really good when you get to put away and clean up all of the laundry. So that's all organized. To the next task. My daughter, I think this is like ketchup. And she had gummies and whatever else, powdered donuts all the time. A little green, so it's called by Bissell. Um, so water goes in this side, you put in a little bit of solution, you could do a little bit of soap and vinegar, water. Um, my daughter put this little potty sticker on here, and so it's got a little star. It's just so funny and cute. Anyways, and then on this side, it's so gross. Uh, we do wash it out and clean it. It gets so gross over here because this is where all the dirty catches. So, yeah, then that's where it goes. Um, it's got, on this side, as you can see, a place to nicely, neatly wrap your cord. And on this side, the this nozzle ha is wrapped all the way around the machine itself. So it's kind of a short, um, short hose on this one. And the nozzle, like I said, is the number one complaint about getting dirty. So we detach it. Um, there's a button. You detach it, we soak it, we clean it, you do vinegar, like all the things just to make sure that you keep this head clean. Same with this, um, the dirty side. But we like to buy the Bissell Pet Pro. Um... <laughs> This originally cost like $100, I'd say $135 maybe. I can't remember because it's been a while. You're definitely going to be investing in because 
we use this on the regular um, because we have a really nice couch and you know, when you're an adult, you're like, man, that's lots of money. So we really like to keep things nice and clean. And in between, I'm like, oh, well, having a couch cushion is great. But then what happens when you have to clean the couch cushion? And sometimes, sometimes things leak underneath the couch cover. So then you still have to clean up your mess. And this is the best thing to do. But I would say this is literally maybe four out of five because I have some cons with it. Like people complain about the nozzle getting um, just gunky and really hard to clean. And then also I have a complaint of how this is actually really, 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 really hard to clean. Yeah, if you ever see me wipe down a counter, if you're curious what I'm doing, I like to do hot soapy water and take a rag and wipe all the surfaces. And I know if there's crumbs, I try to catch them. If not, if I'm lazy, sometimes I'll just wipe it to the ground because I know I'm gonna go back and vacuum, sweep, and then mop. So I also like to, at the countertop, once I'm done, I let it kind of dry. And then I like to go back in with a disinfectant wipe because you're really not taking away any bacteria necessarily, you don't know, and killing anything. So I like to go back and do that and kill all the germs off the surfaces. 